In this video, I'm going to explain to you why you should not exercise in your spare time. I recently saw this article um, that talked about uh, things that you can do in your spare time when um, COVID ends or, you know, the pandemic ends completely. Well, obviously, it's not, it doesn't look like it's going to, but, you know, when lockdown ends and uh, things that you can do with regards to your social life, additional hobbies, sporting and so on. And um, one of the things that was, was, was mentioned in the article was doing um, exercise. And it got me thinking that that is actually the wrong attitude to take. You don't want to exercise in your spare time because that suggests that exercise, in particular resistance exercise, which has many benefits, is relegated to something which is optional. And what you need to do instead is make and schedule time for exercise, particularly resistance exercise, not chronic cardio like you know running and and and, and um, you know going on a treadmill. Um, but actually doing things that are going to stimulate your large muscle groups, which also stimulates your heart and which also will reduce levels of inflammation, strengthen your body and has many other benefits. And if you think about it, would you, for example, pay your bills in your spare time? Would you do your shopping in your spare time? Would you clean your house in your spare time? You wouldn't, because if you suddenly run out of spare time, then these, th these things will still have to happen. They're essential. And that's how you should view um, exercise. That's how you should view resistance exercise, which needs to take place two to three times a week at a minimum, so that you can maintain that good habit that's going to help maintain good muscle strength, good muscle mass, um, not obviously a bodybuilder level mass, but still, you know, a, 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 you have the benefits of the stimulated muscle and also that will maintain your fitness uh, and if you don't do that then the the natural aging process will happen which where you'll get over time small amount of muscle atrophy reduced strength uh, reduced energy levels and actually quicker aging so you know strengthening exercises will help to battle aging as well and you need to um, on the point of the video you need to prioritize uh, exercise schedule it in find days of the week where you can do it either before or after work or uh, uh, or on a on a quieter day you know weekends for example a good good day to do at least one good um, workout put in reminders um, put in uh, you know work out with somebody else work out in the gym or that can sometimes be a barrier to doing a um, exercise on a regular basis but don't relegate it to an option uh, where you can do um, once in a while. And it's probably of, of all your um, healthy habits, let's say if you look at diet and, and sleep and you know supplementation, um, exercise is the one where you have to be proactive and do it. So sleep, for example, you have to sleep. And, and some days you'll decide that actually you're going to take steps to optimize your sleep by reducing light and improving temperature, reducing noise. Diet, you have to eat. And then you can be actively, you can actively decide for the next meal, I'm going to try to make it healthy. Exercise, you can go a week without exercising. And if you're not into that mindset of re regularly exercising, you can go a week easily and not exercise. So again, that's not, that's the wrong mindset to have. Um, and that happens when exercise is not prioritized and when it becomes something that you do in your space time so uh, my tip is yeah schedule it in um, always think about your next workout in addition don't forget the stretching as well that's also an, an important um, component uh, of maintaining your sort of flexibility reducing the risk of injury so you can keep exercising um, let me know what you you think about uh, the title of this video and I'll see you on the next one